Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the expense that is associated with my upcoming trip to USA for the conference that is UAI 2023 and how I am able to manage different funds to cover this expense. So if you are following my channel, you know that one of my papers recently got accepted uh, in a A star ML conference that is uncertainty in AI or UAI 2023 which is happening in Pittsburgh in Kerning Mellon University from 29th, uh, sorry, from 31st July to 4th August. So I'll be traveling there in, in, in this month's end. Now, you know, traveling to any country, especially USA is very, very expensive. Uh, so there are a lot of things where you need to pay a lot of money. And if you are an aspiring researcher or if you have some interest in doing research from India and, and if you want to know that, you know, whenever you have to go to different countries for uh, presenting your paper in different conferences, then what is the, you know, total expense that you have to bear and whether you have to bear this whole money from your pocket, that is no. There are a lot of internal and external funds available uh, from where you can take money and cover your expenses. So in this video, I'm going to discuss in detail about everything that what are the different areas where I have to spend money uh, for traveling to USA and what is the exact money this time I have to pay to go to UAI and, and present my paper and what are the different sources from where I'm able to, you know, gather money or I'm able to manage funds. Uh, to cover my expense. So that will be the whole, uh, you know, content of this video. So if you're interested, please stay tuned to the video till end. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new to this particular channel, as I always say, uh, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a video, you will get instant notification. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now, the first expense is registration fee. So whenever your paper will get accepted in any conference, you first have to register for the conference. And this is a mandatory step. If you don't register, you can't attend the conference, you can't present your paper there, and your paper won't come in the final conference proceeding. That means even your paper got accepted in the conference, it won't come in the final version of the conference. It's equivalent to withdrawal of your paper from the conference. So nobody does this. At least one author from the authorship list has to register for the conference and then he or, he or she can attend the conference and present uh, his or her paper in that particular conference. Now, how to register? I have made a separate video on, on this uh, recently that how to register for a Eastern ML conference and there I have explained the the whole procedure step by step uh, in detail. So if you haven't watched that video, please go and check it out. I'll give the link in the i button. Now in a brief, you have to, if I have to explain here. Uh, so on average, $350 to $550 is needed to register for any top tier, uh, top tier ML conferences. That means around 30 to 40,000 rupees in Indian money in current day. Now, you know, in, 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 in my case, in this particular conference, I have to pay $350. So that was the registration fee for the students. But in most of the conferences, they used to provide student scholarship for the students who is coming from developing country like India. So I have applied for, for the student scholarship and they have approved my scholarship. So that's why my registration fee got way up. And I was really lucky that now I don't have to pay this $350, which is approximately 30,000 rupees uh, per student. So that is one money that you have to pay if you are not getting the student scholarship, but in most of the conferences, they used to provide this scholarship. So that was the first expense that you have to bear. Next is your visa application fee. So obviously, if you have to go to another country, then you need visa uh, to get an approval to visit that particular country. And for that, you have to apply for your visa and different country has different application fee. Now for USA, uh, if you want to attend any conference, you need B1, B2 visa. In current days, the application fee for B1, B2 visa is uh, $185. That is around uh, 15,000 rupees in Indian currency in current date. Now, I don't need visa this time for this particular conference because I already have visa to travel uh, to USA. Because if you remember and if you follow my channel, you know, before this paper, uh, last year, December, I had one, another paper accepted in AAA 2023. And that conference happened in February. So I was planning to visit that conference. So that's why in, in January, I applied for uh, visa to USA. 
and that that uh, approval of that visa got got a bit delayed so that's why i couldn't visit to that particular conference uh, in, in in physical mode i have given the presentation in online mode but my visa got approved that time so i already have a visa so i don't have to apply for for any visa now so that amount also kind of you know exempted from my travel expense next is your travel and accommodation to the country you'll be visiting for the conference and here you have to spend a lot of money especially if you're visiting to usa your travel and accommodation will take almost 80% of your total expense because going to USA, the flight fare is really, really huge and also staying there is also expensive. Now, personally, I have to pay 180,000 rupees for booking the flight ticket uh, for going to Pittsburgh and then coming back to Kolkata again. Now, this was the cheapest option available. You know, you can book even, even more costlier flights. And then for accommodation, you need to book some hotel or hostel or Airbnb room there uh, nearby the conference venue so that you can stay there and then attend the conference because most of the time, these A-star event conferences, they don't provide any accommodation uh, for the students. Rather, they recommend you few places uh, where they talk with, the, with, the, with those hotels and they give you some discount, discount rates of the... Uh, of, of, of the rooms per night uh, for the students but I have seen for this particular conference most of the hotels that they are recommending they have almost $130 per night to stay there and one thing I have to mention here that if you are going from from Indian Institute to a foreign country uh, for all the Indian institutions they have a upper limit of uh, daily expense I mean per deem they say it so per deem amount is you know at maximum you can spend $150 so per, per, per day uh, you can maximum uh, spend $150 and this will include your stay I mean your accommodation food local travel everything so if you spend $130 per day in a, in, a, in a hotel room then only $20 will remain uh, for you uh, to do food and travel so that is not possible I mean if you, you can ex obviously spend extra but that you have to you know bear from your own pocket institute won't give you more than $150 per day for any conference visit so what I have done is that I have booked a room from Airbnb uh, so this is this is a website I think everyone knows about this is quite popular for international travel so I booked a uh, room from Airbnb that is nearby CMU and from there I'll be you know attending this conference and for it I have to pay for six days because conference is of five days and one day extra because I'll be reaching there one day before so six day my total expense is 40,000 rupees uh, so that is quite reasonable uh, so that is uh, one on biggest amount of money that I have to pay the, 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 the flight and plus the accommodation now these are all expenses that is almost 95% of your total expense that you have to bear for the conference rest 5% goes to your local travel uh, in, in, the, in the conference venue and whatever food item that you will be taking uh, for those six days of the conference so for me you know per day basis I, I, I have $150 per day into six that means $900 I have and I already spend you know 40,000 rupees that means already $500 approx I have already spent so I have around $400 uh, left for six days uh, which I can use for my local travel and food and I think that's a sufficient amount of money uh, to spend because I have heard around 35 to 40 dollar is sufficient for you uh, to you know have a food and do local travel in USA so yeah that is all about the expenses that I, I have to bear for this particular conference visit now I will tell you what are the different internal external sources from where you can manage fund and you can cover up these expenses the first one is your institute fund so first of all if you are a general research fellow from any you know research institution in India then you can get up to 1.5 lakhs funding for two times for conference visit during your PhD tenure. So if you are a if you are a normal research fellow, if you don't get PMRF fellowship, Google fellowship, or any other fellowship, if you're just a normal research fellow, you will get 1.5 lakhs two times during your PhD tenure. Next one is PMRF. So PMRF people used to get two lakhs per, per year as a contingency fund. And this fund they can use any time uh, in a year to travel to any conference. But yeah, there is a cap that you can you can use up to four lakhs because at any point of time in your account there will be four lakhs money, four lakh uh, rupees only. So if you have more than four lakh, that will be deducted. So you can use up to four lakh in any time to visit any conference. 
third one is external fund uh, specifically for cs people uh, they can they can apply to uh, different companies or industry for travel grant like you know you can apply to google uh, research india or you can apply to microsoft research india uh, so they used to provide travel grant to students for visiting different conferences so microsoft has a portal from uh, from there you can apply for a uh, for a travel grant and google has a google form through which you can apply uh, for the for the travel grant so you have to upload your paper acceptance mail and then then conference invitation letter even paper also sometimes they ask to upload so these are the document you have to upload and then only uh, you know they looking into that document they decide that whether they will approve or not sometimes they reject also and even if they are approving your travel grant how much they will be uh, giving because that money is not fixed so it varies but yeah uh, it, it based on their decision the next travel grant you will be getting from acm india uh, so there is an association called indian association for research in computer science uh, it's again for computer science branch and they they will give you maximum 60000 rupees for a for a conference visit i don't know i hope there are there are this kind of association for other stream also but i am not aware about this but this particular fund if you are a cs student you can apply and you can get and finally if your guide has some project fund available under him or her you can you can talk with your guide and you can use that money for your conference travel also so most of the time these iit and iisc professors they have a lot of projects and they have a lot of funds in their project that money you can use for your uh, for your travel to any conference now let me share my story where are the places i have applied for the fund and what is the status of that so i have applied for microsoft research india i have applied for google research india and i have applied for acm india association for research in computer science so as of now microsoft research has rejected my application uh, so they have informed me that they they won't be able to you know help me with the travel grant i don't know why the what what is the reason behind it because they didn't specify any reason uh, even i have mailed them asking about the reason but they didn't specify, uh, specify any reason for the rejection the second one is google research india so they have asked me some additional documents so i have sent all the documents but till date there is no information whether they are giving me the travel grant or not so i have mailed them three to four times but they are not responding i don't know why maybe i'll follow up with them again in the coming week now coming to the acm india so they they are in they, they are again in the processing mode they have also not you know informed me anything but last time in triple i they have accepted my application and they was ready they were ready to give me the travel fund of 60000 rupees to go to usa so that time it didn't go but my uh, fund request was approved and finally you know my major relief was coming from pmrf the prime minister research fellowship contingency fund so from where as i was saying i am i'm getting 2 lakhs uh, rupees per annum so that money i am going to use mostly for for covering my expenses so approximately i can i have i have made experiment that max to max uh, the total cost will be uh, 2 lakh 50000 rupees so i hope if you know this uh, acm india gives me 60000 rupees then uh, i'll be able to manage everything uh, smoothly so yeah that was about the whole story it's a huge amount of money guys if you are planning to do research uh, in any 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 stream where you have to publish a paper in a conference which will be happening in usa so approximately 2 to 2 2.5 lakhs rupees you need to travel any state in the in united state and then you have to stay there and you have to do some miscellaneous expense in foods and local travel so that's why you know you need to need to have some kind of funding uh, from different sources it's better if you're getting funding from multiple sources that will always help you and th then you can manage the all all the expenses smoothly so that's it about this video i hope I, you have now now an idea about this part of the research i mean this is also one part of the research that you know you don't just have to publish a paper you need enough funding uh, to go to the conference and present the paper and then your whole work will be completed because until unless you are going to the conference and present the paper your work is not done yeah that's it yeah, that's it about this video if you have liked this video don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will get instant notification that's it about this video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye